Local nonpartisan political organization Restore the Balance just held a forum for candidates for Colorado's 3rd Congressional District. But last night's event wasn't your typical candidate forum. Our Michael Lagerwell was there and explains. The idea was to, to get them to have a, a, a more intimate conversation with some members of the public. I think it went well. Mm -hmm. It was very informative. I thought it was uh, very interesting and informative. Tuesday night's candidate forum in Escalante Hall at CMU wasn't your average political event. There was no arguing, no lights, cameras, or action. Just candidates on the ballot for Colorado's 3rd Congressional District meeting 100 residents from the Western Slope. We sent out invitations to all of them, and five candidates uh, decided to join us here. So we had Democrats, Republicans, Independents. It was a fantastic opportunity to hear their their stance on exactly what hap means to us here locally. Republicans Russ Andrews, Jeff Hurd, and Curtis McCracken attended. Adam Frisch was the lone Democrat and Adam Winthrow from Durango, the lone independent. This is one of five rooms where candidates for Colorado's 3rd Congressional District met with future constituents. One candidate, 20 people in the room, no press or media allowed. After 15 minutes, each candidate rotated rooms, giving each group an equal amount of time. Each room started with a theme, whether that be bipartisanship, their qualifications, or misinformation. But Tim Casey, the head of political science at CMU, said those weren't the only issues raised. There were questions about issues like immigration and so forth. There were questions about taxes. There were questions about fundraising. Everyone I spoke to tabbed the event a success. Casey spoke highly of Restore the Balance's goal to shift the political atmosphere. They're trying to reduce extremism politics, but also about trying to bring people back together, trying to, to sort of bring, I don't want to say the fun back into politics, but, but to bring the, the people back into the politics so that we're not just looking for a soundbite. I'd say it was pretty authentic. It wasn't like just watching an ad on TV. Hopefully, Casey says, starting a trend. But our hope is that maybe tonight got them thinking about a different way to have a conversation. Michael Lagerwell, KREX 5 News. The only complaint attendees voiced to our station about the event was they wish they had more time with each candidate.